Hello guys, welcome to yet another exciting episode. This is Life Stories. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification button, like, share and comment. And let's, let us know what we can discuss about or what you think about the topics that we have talked about below. Now, today I'm joined by a very intelligent man. He is Elvis McNally. He's uh, an editor at Future Trends Print. It's a music, uh, video, uh, video company and uh, he works with Open Door Images. Um, we are here to discuss about a very sensitive uh, uh, topic. Elvis McNally. Yo. Welcome to our studios, brother. Thank you. Okay, How uh, is the going? It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So, you know, uh, we are trying to discuss about some of the sensitive uh, things that youth have to know or don't even talk about or yeah. even their fathers and their mothers friends don't even want to utter out you know yeah. i want i want to know what are the you know there are very many people doing this act and i don't know is it good or bad so people have been asking me uh, is it good or bad someone uh, said that uh, masturbation is good and masturbation is bad yeah. first of all what, what what do you understand by masturbation well uh, you can put it in this way mm. it's um, I can say it's a vice mm. something that eats up lots of people both boys and girls okay men and women yeah yeah, yeah. It's yeah. something that eats a lot of people up. it's that's it. Yeah. And by when I say advice, mm. that is something that becomes bad. You get it. Mm. Um, it can affect you health-wise. Okay. Um, mm. Psychologically. By the yeah 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 yeah. That's socially. Mm. Yeah, lots of ways. Yeah. So it, it's it's advice. Masturbation is uh, how can I say it uh, in 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 a simple yet not so. Mm. It's so complex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Let me mm. see. Um, masturbation is, let's say, uh, mm. stimulating yourself, like like you as a person, sexually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but most of it is mental. The brain is the first sexual organ. Yeah. It it, it, yeah? it, it works out. Uh huh. It's the first thing that is stimulated mm. sexually. So, most of it is mental. Yeah. The mm. the physical is really just there just to to finish up the, the exactly, work exactly but your mm. mind takes mm. up most of the part you have to yeah so so create. so, what, so what, what what you mean is that people who masturbate like uh, they first put it in their mind yeah it starts all the way from there you, you think about something you mm. think you feel like you you need to be with someone probably and you can't be with them mm. yeah do you, do you do you really know that some people are not doing it just for just yeah it is a habit yeah that's why i'm saying now it becomes a vice mm. yeah um, but at the same time, mm. there are facts that it, it's 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 uh, it's good. Yeah, I mean, ah! yeah, basically it's like, bro, wait, bro, wait, yo, wait, 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 wait. It's like with everything else. Wait, first listen. It's okay. like with everything else. Mm. There is good and bad. Of, of yeah? course, okay. and the two coexist. You get okay, and that's how the universe works. The merits yes. and the merits. Exactly. Mm. You you cannot have good alone. You cannot have evil alone. Mm. Even the things we do, they can be good and bad at the same time. Of course, yeah. there is good and certain. Exactly. Yeah. So it only depends, you know, the extent to which you do certain things. Mm. Yeah. And mm. then maybe it can qualify to overeating is bad. Of course. But then at the same time, food is good. You have to you stay. Get. So once you overeat, yeah, you can be, mm. you maybe become a glutton. Or some some mm. something like that. You yeah. can become um, you can gain lots of weight that you may not like. Some people would eat to gain the weight because they want to. Mm. You get, so you, you get like some people. Of, some it just people, depends mm. to the, to the extent you know to mm. which you do certain things. Okay. It, and, uh, masturbation is no exception. Yeah. W w what do you mean by no exception? It's it's one of those things that you can do, and it can be good and it can be bad. Of course. Okay. Fun fact. Uh, let's say you're going for an interview, <laughs> okay. yeah, and yeah. you feel super, super psyched. At the same time, you're seriously anxious, yeah, and you become nervous. Mm. Anxiety can step in. You can so, feel a certain way, and you mm. feel so uncomfortable. Mm. But if you masturbate, 
you you, you feel your blood relieved. pressure is going to reduce wow. like you your heart rate that was in a super fast mm. is just going to calm down okay so are you seeing something like that and so that will set your mind straight so that's so very you no that's yeah that's 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 an you know a thumbs up for it <laughs> yeah but now and now you can't you can't be, you can't tell me you yeah. today you're going for an interview tomorrow another interview tomorrow another interview the next day another interview mm, yeah. so like the whole week mm. <laughs> you get but you find that it's something maybe you so, do so, once a week okay so and you have mm. yeah so so, those, so mr elvis yeah what you're trying to mean is that masturbation it relieves the, the, the stress it, it does it does okay yeah but then at the same time mm. it can be harmful to you okay yeah so what wh- what is what what is other thing that you can mention out about the merits of this you know act well uh now i don't know about the women or girls but mm. boys once you re- reach uh, a certain age mm. you have to once you're sexually active yeah <laughs> yes so okay, uh, what yeah. happens is um mm. your body produces hormones hormones yeah, yeah and yeah. then with that mm. there comes um a need even before the need like yeah. nature takes its course on its own of course you produce semen mm. with the semen comes the sperms mm. and over time they build mm. yeah they build in your body mm. and the truth is they need to come out yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the truth. They wait, need to come wait, out. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You 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 trying to mean that? You know they say that in order to uh, in order for the semen to get out, you have to pierce it. So yeah. what you trying to mean is that semen can come out like yeah. When you when like, you masturbate, mm. you you let out the semen, you let out the sperm, yeah. Mm. The sperm, sorry, and mm. then um, it helps to freshen up the body. The, the the creative process yeah of nature you get <laughs> okay yes, that's the truth yeah right. so yeah like you, you, you like you clean your own body up because once they'll be produced mm. let's say the sperms and you know semen they're produced mm. and they're in your body and they'll stay there let's say for a month it's already toxic that's the truth okay it's I toxic uh, i didn't know about yeah, that that's toxic already mm. Mm. so you find that in in like three weeks mm. you can you're supposed to you're supposed yeah. to release exactly you're supposed to ejaculate about three times wow yeah so all right uh, how, 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 how about these people twice. who don't you know who don't now who that's don't. the thing mm. yeah that's the thing mm. some people don't really take uh i'm not saying they should but mm. Mm. some people don't take mm. like you know their health or don't know a lot about actually let me just say they don't know a lot about you health get, exactly so mm. it's, it's just ignorance and it's not something they you know maybe chose Mm. but it's something society tends to you know keep out yeah from 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 the youth from everyone you get okay mm. it's one of those topics that your parent is not going to call you and, and then and sit down and talk with you about it oh this is something, something that you need to research for probably to first happen to you wow. and then once it starts becoming a problem mm. you then realize it then you maybe you then you try and better yourself yeah yeah and uh, you find that most of these things happen like mm. once children uh let me see well, can we still term them children yeah mm. once they join high school that's where all these vices that coming up from you get mm. because you people have people are growing up yeah from of course one, you know, from you, two, you, you don't have to stay the same person. yeah so you find that's where it all starts to build up from mm. yeah so what about uh, uh what, what about uh, about this point that i had someone saying that masturbation uh it sets you free from stds because you know you're doing it by yourself <laughs> how yeah, valid that, that's is that statement well that's 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 a twisted argument <laughs> you can yeah. you can have sex and still not get stds you get i mean like you you're doing it by yourself you don't you know you don't interacting with someone else yeah i mean it's mm. it's safer that way huh? mm. okay there's that you can give it a thumbs up for that uh, but at the same time mm. you see sex in itself is a very mental thing at the it same time starts with the mind exactly yeah yeah like in the first place the brain is what it oh you know what is um affected first yeah yeah, yeah. and um if you have sex mm. and you masturbate those are two different actions but the the end results are the same <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> but okay, yeah. but mm. to a, you know a bigger and sorry to a larger extent, mm, yeah. um, actual sex wins. You get why? Why did? What? Can you try to you know to give me a, a wider range of view? Why? Why does sex win? Well, that cause of matter. Um, how can I say this? Uh, like, it's 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 something deep. Like once you have sex with someone, yeah. Other than it's having it. sex by yourself. Yeah, like yeah. forget forget the sex where you you know buy mm. um hoes on streets <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, forget that. Not not that kind. Okay. And and so you mean people buy buy yeah, that yeah, stuff? Yeah. Oh, and you know, <laughs> so that that is there. Yeah? Forget that kind of sex. Forget quickies mm. know, in 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 washrooms during mm. lunch break or like <laughs> at, at at uni or yeah. hostel or yeah. wherever. Yeah. You get yeah. forget such. Yeah, I'm talking intimate sex. Yeah, where like two they, bodies meet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah there, there's that intimacy where you go for two hours, three hours. Oh, man, that's hours, that's, you know. that's long. Yeah, nah, there are people that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my story to tell. Um, so yeah, you find okay. it. Uh, in such a case, mm. a lot more of the mind is involved. Yeah, you, you're mm. telling yourself, mm. maybe you're motivating yourself. No, I, I need to go faster. I need to go slower. I need, uh, yeah. I need to last longer. I need to make her maybe feel this way. I need, mm. and also the girl is like, I need maybe mm. him to feel this way. You get. So yeah. there's a lot of the brain that is involved. Trust me, that's you, yeah. a lot more. Mm. And then after that. Mm. You you can't feel the same. I've heard people say mm. they have you know had bad sex, yeah. But these are people mm. probably, mm. <laughs> most likely, mm. will um, have sex mm. for let's say twelve minutes and then that's it and okay. they're done and so they mm. they'll go and then say ah the girl is bad or sorry okay so it's not that good but mm. if you if you put it in this way that mm. you have sex. Mm. And it's intimate, okay. yeah. Mm. It, it relieves your whole body. You stay safe, stay clean. It's no, it's not. It's not staying safe. It's not <laughs> like like staying clean, like the body. Yes, yeah, exactly. It, it freshens exactly. up. Yes, it, yeah. it, it does. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the, those mm. um really 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 good so exercises yeah, that you so, can so do Elvis, for your body. What are some of the demerits of this act? Yeah, yeah, they're quite a lot though, mm-hmm. especially once you become the one. Number one mm. is addiction. Yeah, mm. there's addiction yeah. to it where you feel like maybe you, you can't go a day without doing it. Wow, like, there's that. So, so with you, that mm. comes weakness. You get in sex exactly. It's like donating mm. blood. You cannot donate blood twice a month. Of course, is it allowed? No, no, no. I don't no. think it's allowed. Mm. So it's one of those things that if you overdo. You're also depriving your body of its um growth, yeah. You're mm. depriving your body of a mm. lot of things. Yeah. So, but once you become addicted, mm. those things will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Mm. You you <coughs> you start feeling weak. You become anxious at some point. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, <coughs> most people now, you see how you said that it prevents you from getting STDs. Yeah. 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 That it can also lead. You see, once you if you over masturbate, mm. which is a certain point where you also get tired of it, mm. yeah, but you can't stop. So you start um, each time you see someone, mm. let's say the opposite sex, mm. and they're being uh, suggestive in any way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You find you're horny for no reason. <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, okay. it's not for no reason, mm. but you're being horny for the wrong reasons. Yeah, and not then, for the right reasons. Yeah. So you find you're you're walking in you 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 fast you, like you're in a gathering mm. and then maybe you see something you mm. walk to the to the washrooms yeah. to go help yourself real quick <laughs> you get sad yeah. Yeah. so yeah. it becomes that bad habit in you that yeah. and it affects you socially of course you, yeah. you 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 feel so inferior when you're trying to interact with yeah. different kinds of people what and about then, what, what, what about the, the the cancer stuff the cancer stuff yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'm not so well versed with it, mm. but mm. Um, it can lead to prostate cancer. Okay. Some way, mm. somehow, yeah. mm. it does. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, things like low sperm count. Oh, wait, low sperm count. Does it mean that someone who performs this act 
uh, takes long to you know to make someone pregnant. Hmm. No. Uh, well, because it could be, be no and yes. Because of the low sperm count. Yeah, it could be no, no and yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, low sperm count is, like I said in the beginning, mm-hmm. your body, it's a natural process. Yeah. It recreates. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But now, once you overdo it, it's mm-hmm. like everything else. If you have a tank of water, mm-hmm. each time you go there mm-hmm. and you know keep drinking from the same tank, like every day, every mm-hmm. day, every day, eventually it's going to drain. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And here you have to refill it. You get. If not, it's going to drain. Yeah. Your body is the same. Of course. Yeah. Mm. So if you don't give it time to, to re- regenerate, mm. eventually you'll be killing your body. Of course. Like that. Yeah. Mm. So you have low sperm count, mm. and now you start having mm. still now a mental mental problem. How do I get out? Of mental this? distress, something that is really really serious. Mm. Because now you you've been knowing that shit. Mm. I have um low sperm count. Mm. Shit. I I have. <laughs> I I, I mm. your erection can be affected. Yeah, that's, yeah, you that's get. True, yeah. So now that's where you're going to find you start having all these fears for act, for having actual sex, and if mm. you're in a relationship, you have that to. can affect you mm. so badly. Let's say you have um a partner mm. who maybe is not so much into sex, mm. yeah, and but the performance, you, the performance. By the time you got them mm. or you got whoever, mm. you already had this addiction. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It actually even scares you, you know. About getting into a next relationship, of course you get. So yeah. you, you consider it, uh, it becomes a burden to you. Mm. Yeah. So those yeah. are like serious downsides. So, uh, the, the people the, who suffer with those things. The performance um, diminishes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It will. Mm. It will. So what about? Uh, what do you think about? Don't you think that this act is so shameful? Well, like you said, man, it's uh, it's 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 one. Of, there are people who are not ashamed of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll tell you, I masturbate, but mm-hmm. maybe they, they they tell you and say I can I, maybe I do it like in two weeks mm-hmm. once. You get yeah. Personally, I'd understand something like that. Mm-hmm. Like honestly, I would understand. Mm-hmm. And then there are those who feel like they can't do a day without. Now That's those can become ashamed. Okay. You get. Uh, I understand. Because it becomes a problem to them, mm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's that. It depends. Mm. Like I told you, mm. the extent to which you do certain things. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it depends the <coughs> the actual what the actual infection of this this disease. No, nah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, this act. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah so yeah. how however much you do it, and then. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Elvis. Thank you so much for coming through to our studios. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for you know allowing us to use the use your time because we know you are kind of busy, not even kind of. You're always busy trying yeah. to to do some some work. Um, and, uh, allow me just say uh, when mm. when you when you said in the beginning you said I'm a video editor. Mm. I'm not only a video editor. I'm a lot yeah. of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm, yeah. I'm uh, yeah. a digital architect. Yeah. So like. I design Web. lots of stuff, uh, mm. websites, mm. Um, graphic design. Mm. Uh, I do the video editing. I yeah. do um, color, like lots of stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. in creative th- stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I I take myself as you know. So so how how do our audience connect with you? Well, mm. in what sense? Like how can they reach out to you? Oh, okay. Like, uh, social well, media. Well, yeah. Um, on most socials, mm. I'm. At Macnolly, Macnolly, M C K E N O L L Y. Yeah, that's almost every Instagram, Twitter, mm. Facebook. Yeah, most of them, even awesome. YouTube. Mm. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Yo, so you guys, uh, thank you so much for following uh, this conversation. This is just part one, you know. Uh, people have been asking me where is Mata, where is Mata. You know, Mata, she's kind of busy trying to, you know, to create some great work for you guys so that you may enjoy and uh, be educated more and uh, you know uh, try to be n- to get more knowledge uh, from this site thank you so much make sure that you subscribe onto life stories hit the notification button like share and comment you've been a good viewer take care